Anyways. Question mark? I was just assuming at some point you were going to do some Warlock stuff. Anyways. Time for your solo thing. Code, are you ready? Sure. Oh, boy. You thought he did. Oh. Oh. Hello. It's, it's that girlfriend person. There's a girly in here who's a friendy. No way. Oh my god, it's a real girl. <laughs> god damn it. No, do not poke. Only Sam is allowed to poke. Code, they didn't poke. consent. By the tiny paws of doom. They did not consent, Code. No poking. Nope, flurry on poking commences. Why don't I have the power to serve and mute people? <laughs> because you'd abuse it clearly. <laughs> I mean, wait, yeah. what? Is this updated? What the fuck? You would server me Bill every time. What other reason is there to have the power to server me people if not to abuse it? I, mean, I don't abuse it. Okay, I won't poke you then. I will instead hit bet. <gasps> that's okay. So anyways, Code, you're, 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 you're doing crow's nest duty with a bunch of the crew are out on stuff and they're talking and they're looking at you and they're kind of like confused because, you know, you have bunny ears now. I've had bunny ears. Yeah, but only for a week or so. And most of these people have known you for two plus years. You have made a radical cosmological change to your uh, body, and they are processing it. Uh, you you get the feeling that you should probably talk to the crew about your choices. Why? I don't need to justify the result to them. If you... Uh, okay. And if they ask me, I'll say because I can. But, like, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna justify my, my actions. I won't justify my actions to these people that I work with. No, no. I just do not feel like I need to justify what I did. Like, even if they captain asks me, I'm just gonna be like, I mean, shrug? Why not? <clears throat> okay. Well, you know. That's always something, you know, the crew's a bit concerned. Uh, you also have another thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The captain has given you a task. Oh boy! Uh, so, there have been, of course, other uh, people that have gone out to the Starfall in the last 500 years. None of them have done an intensive mapping survey like you guys are doing. Okay. So, people have been to this island before, and it's a uh, place with some relics that uh, some of the major benefactors uh, want uh, made go boom. Wait, what? Made go boom. We boom. want booms or no? They want to make the things that are on the island that are not the locals, but the items deep in the mine go boom. Okay. Which means you realize you're going to have to do surreptitious things to make sure that the rest of the party doesn't get access to the things. And they go boom. 
as you are the captain's agent in this. You have to make things go boom. I mean, sure. I'm always happy to make things go boom. Also, she gives you a head pat. I'm down with this. And then feeds you a carrot. Uh, a demon carrot or? No, a normal carrot. Just to see how you I respond to a carrot. Just feeding you a carrot. Mm, carrot. Yep. Yeah, feeding you her. What a quote. That's lewd. Exactly. Lewd. Also, yeah, there, you're still lewd. Also, there's been rumors of a stowaway. Oh. Okay. Aren't we just going to recruit them like we recruit every other stowaway, it seems? Wait, that's more, more than one stowaway? You're not here. Shush. Sorry. Okay, so am I being requested to find the stowaway? Because I will absolutely be a lazy bunny otherwise. No. She doesn't care if you find the stowaway. Not she was just mentioning it, so if you notice there's a stowaway. We haven't recruited a single stowaway. There hasn't been a single stowaway. But isn't the standard operating procedure just to... Just to... To... to say you're part of the crew now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the standard yeah, operating procedure. You gotta... Yeah. Surprise crewmate. Yep. <laughs> As in surprise, motherfucker, you're part of the crew. <laughs> That, that's a good choice. So... Yeah. If you okay. find them, handle it. Me. Blow up things and... You know. So, remind me again. If, if the, the captain wants me to be her agent and... Make things go boom. Okay, but in like, is that for like the upcoming mission? Yes. So, whatever it is that the party is trying to find, instead make it go boom? When you get to the mines, if you guys go into the mines, which you probably will since mapping, if you go in there and find any magical artifacts, make them go boom. Ah, okay. Is there any particular reasoning for this, or...? Uh... As I said, a request from one of the sponsors for the voyage. Huh. Yeah. Yep, just just a simple. If, if you find anything weird or magical, make sure it stops being weird and magical. Or make by sure the yeah, or make sure the party can't get it because they don't want to fill up the hall with evil artifacts. Ah, <clears throat> so what you're saying is, if we find an evil artifact, blow it up, or if we find any artifact, blow it up. It's probably going to be a dark elf artifact, so it's probably going to be evil, so... Explosion is explosion. Okay. So, especially if it's dark elf, blow it up. 
Yeah. If it if it says it's good and it then glows with a good aura of good magic, going goody goody good. My name is Goodson of the Good Pops. Doesn't that mean just believe that it's evil because it's trying to lie to me clearly? <laughs> Either it's expressly trying to lie to you terribly, or it's super good, and therefore you should take it. You know, up to you. Depends on what you want to do, pervert. I'm not a pervert. Yeah. She trusts you to make the adult decisions. Because she Yay. thinks you can adult. I can supposedly adult. Also... She gives you the most important reward of all. The shark. The, the captain gives you a brand new da 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 pillow. Ooh, pillow. Yes. You know, for your room that you share with the orc. Blue pillow. It's one of those neck rest pillows. Neck rest pillow? Yeah, oh, you know. they're like half donut? Yeah. It's got a little back flap thing too to put your head where I stone. Blue. But yeah, it's a donut. Eat a uh, half donut. Nom nom. Donut! I'll make sure to bonk Arcus with it. He'll never see it coming. <laughs> he never saw it coming! Slap. You slap him in the face, and Arcus just falls over. He wasn't prepared for you to slap him. <laughs> Just the Arcus. Plop. If you want to kill him in a really easy way, you know you could just thunder wave him off the boat when he's not prepared. That's no. If somebody is That's surprised, mean. they get disadvantage on the saving throw. It means Arcus will probably fail the save and go. Whoop. Ah. That's mean. And then when the boat, the and then when the boat moves 160 feet, that the next round, and the captain's like, "We can't turn around. We have a job to do." Everyone's like, "Well, bye, Arcus." Yeah, Arcus is that's mean. Ah, that's mean. <laughs> no, being mean to Arcus, and nothing of value was lost. No. Things of value is lost. Angry eyebrows. And nothing of value was lost. Evelyn leaves the crew, because they're a bunch of dicks, clearly. Where do you leave? Do you also jump in the water? Yep, bye. Evelyn? I'm a native. So you're going to go live with merfolk? Yep. So you're going to dive down and try to befriend some mermaids and hope that they take you in. I, I like this plan. Meanwhile, uh, sweetie, hello. 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 How are you? Hello, Dark Elf Lady. Hello. Now I'm going to loot the Elfie. I... <gasps> In the daytime? That's loot. It's not day. Yeah, that way you can't see what's happening. It's like, yeah. a, it's, it's like blindfolding her, but without needing a blindfold. You know, Eve, you know, clearly the big thing is Eve only does it with you during the daylight in the sun. Oh. It's, a, it's a 
sometimes it's nice to have the dark. But yeah, your solo thing is the most dastardly of solo things. You have been told by Ephraim a very simple thing, Baps. That's he, pretty he, he, What's the he, thing? He baps you. He baps you for not capturing any of the dark elves. But... But they were knives! I didn't want to capture them. They should have been captured. I have very mixed feelings about that. He... He, he bonks you. <sighs> no bonk. Then no loot. You're caught at an impasse. What do you do? I'm not gonna do it. And thus... And thus you were not given any treats that night. <laughs> I go for none then. Hug. Oh, okay. By God. Yeah, I just came to bother as well. Have fun, you did. Anyway, Bye. Diana takes a firm stance that she is not going to enslave anybody for Ephraim. Angry Ephraim noises. Nah, he, he, he gives you a look. I knew this would be a problem. What? Slavery isn't going to always going to be enthusiastic? Spanx. Yeah. I don't know. It's just Namaya. I have things to think about and contemplate. She uh, sort of shuts up and lays there across his lap. He's currently got a large pint glass full of a crystal clear drinking and sipping it. Where is he setting it? On your back. Perfect. It is cold. That's okay. It has ice from the freezer in it. Mm, we have a freezer? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we you have a freezer. You have you have that type of technology or rather magic tech. It's currently being used. Uh, it's part of the whole pocket dimension battle arena. Because the battle oh, arena like has different sections. The section that um, is cold climate is also your freezer. Well, Mayana will be good and uh, stay still while he rests his history. As he's, as he's having to adjust for costs because you're no longer going to be aiding in that regards. Was I ever going to be? Maybe. Like, it's one, it's one thing if they're actually attacking us to capture them. Listen, listen, listen. I never said he was being fully reasonable here. I'm just pointing out what he's thinking about. Sure, sure. And Mayanna is explaining herself a little bit. Yeah. Swats slightly when you try to explain yourself to him. Yes. I don't need an explanation, Maya. Not, not, not. I understand your concerns, but I have margins to keep, numbers to maintain, and more. Besides, the Empire needs to remove <sighs> vestiges. 
uh, the Dark Elf Empire that still exists. Especially for our allies within the Starfall. And to do that, we need a strong, unified front. Glad we decided to take the central path. I'll make my job easier with meeting Lady Moa. He sighs and takes another swig. Uh, uh, my Anna is smart. Mo Lady Moa is the... That's the mermaid queen, right? Yeah, the regional mermaid queen of the Starfall. Right, the one that the... Um, what's your face? That the Dark Elf matron mentioned might have Dark Elven tech. Yeah. Some merfolk destroy them because Dark Elves and the merfolk didn't get along. Because their continent was basically, you know, this weird Australia with an underdark area. So it had this underdark sea where there was a bunch of underdark merfolk that connected out to the ocean proper. So it was basically, you know, these little lakes slash seas that both were connected to underdark caverns and underdark seas, above ground seas. It was a mess, basically, of lakes mm -hmm. and other water channels. That if you knew where to go, you could meet the right mermaids. So it, you know, and when they got distorted, it caused a lot of flooding. Mm -hmm. But it also made it so that the there was already a large merfolk population there, who were easily able to handle. Ah, oh, shit! All the currents. As Ifrim taps the rim of the pint glass, uh, clearly annoyed. We're doing the mines. We should have an island or two. If we're lucky, before Ma's territory, maybe three. And from there, it'll be communing with her. Thoughts, my Anna? Hmm? Thoughts, my Anna? My Anna. Uh, on, uh, what specifically? Anything in particular? Well, I'd be curious to see what the uh, mermaid queen has dug up. Rumor is she has quite a horde of Starfall artifacts. Yes. A horde that I feel like you're going to want access to. Well, yeah, that is one of the things I was enthusiastic about going on this trip for, you know. We are going to have to convince your fellow officers in that. You don't want a chance to get close to it. I think I can manage. After the sheep kidnapping incident? I wasn't the one kidnapped by a sheep. I was rescuing someone else. I mean, two people were kidnapped by sheep, as far as I've been informed. Yes, and I correctly picked the one that needed help to follow. And the other one didn't need help, and we're fine. Mm-hmm. How's Mayana's book going? Which one? The uh, Forbidden Evil one. You've only had like two or three days with it. It's a... Hi. 
it's mostly just saucy sex rituals. Mm. Yeah, it's it it's a hell look. He's a god of hedonism. It's not going to be the most, uh, you know, it's not the most enlightening of tomes into secrets of the universe. <laughs> I disagree. I find this very enlightening. That was God saying that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you want to watch Fantasy Higher something, sweetie? I'm just saying, let's see. Uh, yeah. Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't have any of his Saurian scaly kind or deception stuff. It would have trickery and innuendo in nature, but it wouldn't have the lizard stuff yet. Mm. Uh... Besides all that, it's a. You get to spend some quality time with your. Your boy, Fee. Pets you a lot. And tells you you're a good girl. Yes. And then you are sent to boarding school. Oh. Ah, uh, good old. You remember Wizard College and Wizard High School. Uh, you have a flashback to Wizard High School. Mm-hmm. Mm, bath Wizard High School bathroom sex. It's lewd. Yep. That's very lewd. But, yeah, we'll save what you remember from Wizard High School for another time. But okay. in the meantime, I'm, I, uh, I'm gonna have a thing for you to do. A fun thing. A very fun thing. See, sweetie, when we flash back to Wizard High School during an actual session, uh -huh. your friends from Wizard High School aren't going to be NPCs. Oh, They're going to be. Gonna... Yeah. They're going to be played by other players, so you're going to have to figure out some friends from high school and assign them to a player. Alright, I'll think about that. Yep. Yeah, yep. Wizard High School, Wizard High School, where all your wizard dreams go to die. Excuse me, I am a successful wizard. Wizard High School, Wizard High School, where you cry at night. I am a powerful necromancer, and I did very well at school. Wizard High School, Wizard High School, where I just want to be left alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sobbing sounds. I mean, I guess it would be a pain to learn when all the classrooms are intended for people with... Uh, far less light sensitive eyes than you. I was just imagining that was like it's it's the English dub of an anime and and it's got some weirdly depressing notes because it's actually a very serious anime but they've adapted it for kids. So they've had to cut out all the guns that the wizards are using on each other. So now instead they're using weird like uh, caster wads, as they're called. Mm -hmm. And other things. When most of them are just using guns because magic takes really long in setting. Um. That's where, and it was just, that's where it was going, so it's just, the actual the original theme is this really depressing thing about, about how Wizard High School sucks. And instead it's been sh uh, replaced with a, uh, a poppy alt rock soundtrack for the English dub. Days I walked, never did I see by. I don't think I got any of that right. Hey. Yes. Love you. Yep, I love you too. Also, he from attending Wizard High School stares at you. 
poop too. <laughs> he has pooped too hard because you were imagining it was at high school. Uh-huh. 